Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today I want to show you a relatively new app for iOS that will let you make little mini movies out of the videos that you record on your phone. It doesn't cost you a thing, you just have to sign up for a free Adobe account, and that app is called Adobe Premiere Clip. Now Adobe is a very reputable company, they make tons of software for photographers, video videographers, and people who are really good at graphics design. They make apps like Photoshop and Lightroom, and their video editing software is called Adobe Premiere Pro. And this is a very scaled down version of Premiere Pro, something that you can take with you on the go, and it lets you just put together videos that you can't natively do on iOS. You always have to have a separate piece of software for that. Apple has their iMovie software software but you have to pay for it but Adobe Premiere clip is free so let me just run down this really quickly and show you the things that you can do with Adobe Premiere clip so I have one project that I've already completed that I'm going to show you at the end of this video but let me just start over from scratch I'm gonna create something that's new I'm just gonna use the generic name new project so you see I have a very, I have a blank canvas here. There's absolutely nothing here. So at this point I have to add videos or photos in order to create my masterpiece. So down here at the bottom right hand corner of the screen there's a plus. So if I just touch that, a few options pop up. I can grab videos and photos that are already stored on my phone. I can engage the camera to automatically import something that I might record or take a picture of at this, at this very moment into my timeline. You can go into the Adobe Creative Cloud, but if you're new to this, you don't have anything up there anyway. And you can also create a title screen. So you can have like the title of your video to, to be in the, in the beginning so people can know what they're about to see. But I'm just going to go to my phone. And I have two separate categories for photos and video that were just created automatically. And here are all of the videos that are currently on my phone. I can select multiple videos at one time. I don't just have to pick one. So I can just choose, let's say I want to pick this one and this one. Let's just go for that. I'm going to hit add two. It's going to do its little quick processing. And now those two clips are right there in my timeline. Now they, they don't have to stay that way. I can order them however I want. If I want this clip to be first, I can do that. If I want to switch it up, I can do that as well. And I can preview what the particular video clip is doing. So as you can see here, this was a this was a time lapse that I did using the built-in time lapse feature in the default camera app. And as you can see, it's running a bit long. You don't have to use the entire clip. If you just touch on the little purple part, on the left and the right, you can drag it in to trim the clip. And the time changes as well. See down here it says 15 seconds, but if I drag it even further, you see now it's reduced to just four seconds. So you can just have this however you want, however long you want it to be. And then you can just preview it again and see what it's going to look like. There's also these three little dots right at the top of the video that when you hit that, you have some very basic uh, some very basic adjustments that you can make to the video there's only three exposure highlights and shadows now you're not going to be able to recover a lot of the highlights and shadows um, if you were using a pretty decent camera and you were shooting with a flat profile which basically means that it's it's the picture that you're seeing looks very dull but it has a lot of information in it that will let you recover that information when you're editing it but since you're already dealing with all the processing that the iPhone has already done you can't recover a lot of that stuff so I can bring up the exposure if I want and as you can see it's completely blown out and I can make the exposure darker that's a very prevalent effect but if I wanted to try to recover highlights or make the highlights kind of blown out it's a very subtle effect even from the very edge of each of these uh, of, the, of the slider from all the way to none all the way up to bright highlights it's only a very subtle change and with the shadows as well let's see if we can move that out the way I'm trying to recover the shadows and you see it's barely doing anything there so it, I haven't really seen much use for that particular feature but it's nice that it's there uh, other things that you can do is you can take the audio out of the video Adobe has some songs that you can just use to overlay in your video so 
if it was a really windy day and you don't want that showing up in, in your video you can just cut the audio out completely you can also control the volume and enable this right here that's called smart volume and what happens is when you use this the app will detect if there's sound going on in your clip and if you're also playing music over it that Adobe gives you it'll try to lower that music so that you can hear what's actually going on in the video so that's another option that you have you can have the audio fade in and you can have the audio fade out give you a little bit more variety and we also have an option to slow down or speed up the particular clip that you took and lastly at the bottom really cool you can decide to duplicate your clip if you want to make two of them or you can split it at the playhead and when you do when you split it at the playhead what it's going to do is it's going to create two separate clips here so if I wanted to cut this out in the middle when I go back to my timeline I will have two separate clips just like what it just did there and it is roughly right there in the middle so you don't have to completely throw away a huge part of your video if you have something that was that was really cool that you want to see within the first five seconds and then nothing happened for the next 20 seconds and then the really cool part was the last 10 seconds you don't have to throw those away and you don't have to import it multiple times you can just split it up and then you can combine them later now some more things that you can do is you can change the the effect the look of it we have a lot of different filters here normal we have Burke cave uh, fashion glacier Marshall you know what, what what do these actually mean I don't know uh, the thing is you just have to click each one of these and then just look at the preview here and then you'll find out exactly what it is going to look like let me go back to my clips and I'm gonna pick another clip here just so that I can demonstrate the video effects more prevalently alright let's take a look at these pretty little flowers now when we take a look at the effect from the flowers you can see how it's changing now these are just yellow flowers but you can continuously change the way that is going to look now to my knowledge these are not independent of each and every clip when you choose a style that you want to use is going to apply to all of the clips every single one of them so you can't have one style for one clip and another style for another clip they're all going to be the same uh, something else that you can do you can choose a crossfade between your clips and that's just going to make things look uh, I'm just going to make it look a lot less jarring when you move from clip to clip so if I were to just play this And you see it just transition smoothly over to the next clip so that's something that's nice to have and you can also use music um, you can have songs that you might have on your phone you can put those in there or if you don't have any you can just use the songs that Adobe provides and it's a pretty uh, it's a reasonable amount of songs here's one or this one so let's just say I wanted to use echoes I'm gonna hit add and that's going to be applied to my entire video so let's listen if we want to go back to the beginning not too sure if you can hear the music because the mic is facing me but yeah you can apply music to that as well now you can also sync this if you do have Adobe Premiere Pro you can sync this since your account is you know it's tied together it's all it's all an Adobe thing so that you can sync this and it will go to your Premiere Pro software on your computer so you can kind of start editing things here and then you can move on to your computer if you wanted to you know put a little extra salt, salt and pepper on it so to speak but if you don't want to do that if you just want to edit the videos that are right here on your phone then you can just use Adobe Premiere Clip to do that and it's pretty easy to do so right now I'm going to show you a video that I made uh, using Adobe Premiere Clip everything that I shot here was shot using uh, the iPhone and it was completely edited on the iPhone uh, it's relatively short about 48 to 50 seconds and it's just something that I just threw together just roughly to see what this uh, type of software can do and I'm pretty happy with it and you can just use your creativity 
and come up with different ways to make very interesting videos that you can share. Now, one caveat to this whole thing is when you are ready to upload this, you hit this button here and when you're ready to upload it, you have to upload it to Adobe service first. You can't just put it on your phone. It will upload to premiereclip.adobe.com. But the good thing about that is you can choose whether it's going to be public or unlisted, meaning that only people who have the link will be able to look at your videos. So you don't have to share it with everyone. And then when you're done with that, the app will let you save it to your camera roll and then from there you can take it off your phone you can put it into whatever video editing software that you want you can share it to YouTube you can share it to Facebook share it to Twitter whatever you want to do with it it just has to go through Adobe first and also at the end of the video that you record there will be like a little it will be like a little Adobe it's not a watermark but it's a brief little clip that just shows like hey you made this with Adobe Premiere clip that stays in there and try to cut that out if you want but uh, other than that, everything seems to be working uh, pretty well. This is on iOS 8.0.2, I believe, on an iPhone 5, and I think it works just fine. So take a look at this clip that I made using Adobe Premiere Clip, and if you're into this kind of thing, you can download it. It's free. Have a free Adobe account and get editing. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I will see you later.